VOA Career Day. Gali potensimu dan kejarlah impianmu. Hanya di sini, VOA Career Day. Halo pemirsa di Indonesia, apa kabar semuanya? Welcome to VOA Career Day. Inilah tempat di mana kita akan mengeksplorasi nih berbagai macam karir yang unik di Amerika bersama saya Santi Tadwi Putri. Dan saya Ian Umar, selain kita akan mengeksplorasi karir-karir di Amerika, kita juga akan mengikuti perjalanan karir dari warga Indonesia yang sukses berkarir di Amerika. Ya, betul, sana. betul sekali. Dan di Amerika ini sekarang pemirsa, kita nih lagi sibuk. Sibuk apa? Sibuk menyambut ajang pemilu. Benar dan... sekali. Pemilu kan nanti tanggal 6 November. Nah hmm. kebetulan sebelum pemilu ini ada namanya acara convention atau konvensi. Biasanya hmm. dilakukan dua bulan menjelang pemilu atau awal September kemarin dan akhir Agustus kemarin. Dari dua masing-masing partai, Partai Republik dan juga Partai Demokrat. Dan Ian ini juga kemarin nih ya, kesempat ini mendapatkan kesempatan menjadi salah satu wartawan yang ikut meliput acara konvensi ini. Benar sekali San, aduh itu seru banget, pokoknya benar-benar adalah satu apa ya, satu kayak misalnya pemain sepak bola pergi ke Piala Dunia. Wow. Wah, hampir mirip seperti itu. Jadi ini buat saya seorang wartawan untuk pergi ke convention atau acara politik yang besar itu, Mungkin di Amerika ya, mungkin ini acara politik terbesar di Amerika sebelum pemilu Itu kayaknya udah uh, adrenalin semua, saya seru banget gitu ikutannya Waduh kita udah pasti nih ya dengerin kisahnya Ian ini seperti apa Tapi selain itu kita juga akan melihat nih berkarir menjadi seorang polisi itu kayak gimana sih It's a dangerous job ya Wah polisi di Amerika hmm. Iya itu kayak gimana, tapi selain itu kita juga akan kenalan dengan seorang penulis muda Asal Indonesia yang sukses menulis novel di Amerika sini Baiklah pemirsa, langsung aja kita lihat liputannya mengenai Sheriff Deputy atau Polisi. Waduh itu kayak gimana ya karirnya? It's a dangerous job, so check out the story yang berikut ini. Ia adalah mantan wakil sheriff untuk memberantas kejahatan. Tugasnya penuh ketegasan dan kecermatan. Apakah ini karir impian kalian? One of the things that, that really inspired me about being in law enforcement is that if I wanted to make a difference, I wasn't going to make a difference standing out there complaining about things. I was going to make a difference by being in the game. So my job is to keep the streets safe. Find out how I do that on career day. Banyak cara untuk mengabdi ke masyarakat di kantor Sheriff Los Angeles. One of the things that, that really inspired me about being in law enforcement is that if I wanted to make a difference, I wasn't going to make a difference standing out there complaining about things. I was going to make a difference by being in the game. Clyde Terry adalah wakil sheriff yang sudah mengalami asam garam. Well, there is no typical day in law enforcement. Sometimes you're here, you, you come to work for eight hours and you end up being here 19 hours. You know? So we don't just leave because our shift is over. We leave when the work is done. Sometimes you make sacrifices. Just when, you know, when the earthquake happens, you don't get to be at home with your family. You're out protecting everybody else. Tugas kepolisian Los Angeles termasuk paling berat di Amerika. Patroli daerah seluas lebih dari 10.000 km persegi dan mengawal 20.000 tahanan. We're required to make two walks to make sure everything's okay, make sure that, that we don't have any complaints of injuries or they need medical attention or they need something. So we come through every two twice a shift to make sure that Everything's in compliance. Untuk menjadi polisi harus berusia 20 tahun ke atas, lulus SMA dan bebas kriminal. Ada juga yang bekas tentara seperti Terry. An important aspect of our job is staying physically fit. Because if we don't train, the people that are committing crimes do train. Right? So this is where we do it. We have boxers in here, we have guys who are lifting weights. We have grapplers, we have people doing a little bit of everything. Menjadi polisi harus selalu siap, baik fisik maupun mental. One of the, the greatest challenges of my job is that it's, you, you get to, you're dealing with different people, you're dealing with different dynamics, but also in our job we get to be a lot of things. We're, we're counselors, sometimes we're, we take on the parent role, we're teachers. Now how many of y'all think y'all open-minded? <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. I've been in my job for 19 years. 
And for 17 years, it's been putting the bad guy away. And for the last two years, it's been keeping him out of prison. Di Emerging Leaders Academy ini, mantan napi berusaha beradaptasi dengan peran baru mereka. For a lot of them, technology is just like way too fast. The world is moving way too fast for them. It's like, well, I'll go back to prison because it's easier for me. So in here, we just let them know that, you know, there's an opportunity. You get to recreate yourself. So just, just get that there's a lot of things that you see every day that are opportunities in front of you. You just don't see the opportunities. I met Clyde, and he's just been awesome with his encouragement to finish the course and to keep pushing. Um, because of him, I'm doing public speaking, being requested to come and do public speaking. And I'm also back in school to get my high school diploma. Dan banyak yang tidak mau mendengar nasihat seorang polisi. My favorite part about this is that people see something available for them. They see a future. They see something new. They see what's possible in life. And they have a whole new leash on life. Pekerjaan ini perlu dedikasi tinggi. Mereka ada ketika masalah terjadi dan mencoba mengatasi masalah sebelum terjadi. Our whole job is servicing everybody. Our job isn't just servicing the good people. Our job is servicing the bad people. So we service everybody. Our, when we took the oath, we didn't say we would help these people, but not these people. We said we would help all people. Waduh, ngelihat Sheriff Deputy Sergeant tadi si Clay Terry itu ya. <laughs> Saya nih jadi terinspirasi mau jadi seorang polwan nih. Oh beneran? Oh betul. Ngelihatnya tadi, I think I like that challenge. <laughs> oh, but I think you look good on a uniform. Oh bisa dong. Bisa kebayangkan pemirsa. <laughs> Tapi setelah pesan-pesan yang berikut ini kita mau break dulu sebentar ya pemirsa. But when we come back kita akan dengerin kisahnya Ian saat kemarin datang ke acara konvensi Partai Demokrat. Bedar sekali. Dan juga melihat behind the scenesnya nih tim BOE selama acara konvensi tersebut. So Jadi jangan kemana-mana ya. Yep. Tetap bersama kami setelah pesan-pesan yang berikut ini.